Today we are going to meet a writer called Jacqueline Woodson. She writes for kids and teenagers, and she gets a lot of her ideas from right here in Brooklyn. Jacqueline writes realistic fiction, tackling tough issues like race, poverty, death, and grief. Her book Behind You is the story of a boy who's just been shot by the police in Central Park. You do not die. Your soul steps out of your body, shakes itself hard, because it's been carrying the weight of your heavy skin for 15 years. Then your soul lifts up and looks down on your body lying there, looks down on the blood running onto concrete. Your eyes snap open like the pages in some kid's forgotten picture book. So it's actually his soul yeah. speaking, saying, no, we don't die, we go on. And, th and this, basically this story is going to show you how that's happening for me. So he's in Central Park with the two cops who yeah. just shot him and they realize they've made a mistake. And then he kind of moves off and sees his girlfriend, Ellie, and his mother. Shh. Away from the dusting of snow, the white tips of trees, the darkening sky, already you hear your mother screaming. Already you see your father dropping his head into his hands, helpless. Wow, what an opener. What I love about your books is how they take on real life. How do you do that? Um, I think I start by never knowing where the beginning is and never knowing where the end is. I mean, I, yeah. I, I literally just sit down and start writing and I have a character in my head and yeah. I take it from there. And, you know, people constantly ask, well, what's the moral of that? Were you trying to teach kids? It's like, no, I was just trying to have an experience. It's yeah. like, once you put two people together, as you know, all of this stuff happens. Yep. And so I'm always so surprised when people are like, oh, their life is so sad. It's so hard. It's like, oh, really? I just thought they were living. So you're dealing with some deep themes and issues in here. I mean, you're talking about orphans, racial divides, class divides. I mean, what do you say to those people who say, like, isn't this too much for a 10-year-old? I think children need to know um, it's okay to grieve, it's okay to feel sad, it's okay to have empathy. And I think yeah. it, it, for them it builds a bigger person and builds a bigger world. And sometimes sad things happen to people and I think them feeling safe enough to read it is a big step for them. So what do you think it is that, that, that connects you with, with that kid audience? Why do they love you so much? I think as I, um, like you, um, get them. Being a young person was not always easy, but there were some great things about it, and we bring that to the literature, and the kids see it, and they think, wow, they get me, and they respect us for respecting them. Well, Jacqueline Woodson, thanks so much for like sharing all your wisdom with us. Oh, well, thanks for coming to my house. Yeah, I've yeah, always been pleasure, such a always. huge fan. Ah! <laughs>